pre-recorded from Free Windows Studios. It's the Squirrel Stampede Super Show. <laughs> On today's show, monologue by Dan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dan. You might remember me from such videos as uh, Lego Minifigures Battles 4, uh, this time it's personal, and Madagascar Happy Meal Review. Uh, those sound effects are really annoying. So here I am today. I haven't done a vlog in so long. Um, I apologize for that, but I just had so many other projects going that I never had time to do one, set one up. So here I am back. What do I start with first? First, uh, today is mostly G.I. Joe oriented because I just saw the new G.I. Joe movie last night, Retaliation, and I have some things to say. And uh, all positive, good, good things to say. It was a very entertaining movie, um, quite an improvement over the first movie. Uh, although both movies are very different from each other, where the first one was kind of a over-the-top visual um, Euro rental van feel, as one of my friends had said. And uh, this new one was more of a down-to-earth, real American hero feeling. So, uh, both good movies and, and both pretty good takes, I thought. Some things that I really liked about the new movie was uh, that they continued a lot of the plot lines from the first movie. Um, I mean, there were some obvious missing characters and things that, that was kind of annoying, but, you know, they did their best so that they could and kept going, which was kind of neat than starting over, because reboots can be kind of frustrating to watch the origin stories all over again, so that was really cool. They just took off where they had, and they and they I think they did a pretty successful job. Um, I thought uh, the, the actor who played Firefly was just awesome, like dead on, really cool. He delivered his lines really slowly, and, and, and just like, probably was one of the best thespians in the movie. Um, I really enjoyed his, his, uh, his take. Um, oh, a couple other things I thought in the movie were great. Uh, the jail warden, or whatever his, I can't remember who his name was, but he was played by a pretty funny character, and it's just the classic jail warden who's just like, looking at the bad guys in, in the cell, and just like, what are you gonna do about it, ah, ah, ah. and then you know he's gonna get killed because, the, you know, he's just enraging them inside their cell. So let's look at some of the toys, and, uh, as you can see, I uh, already ranted about the toys in this unreleased clip from last year, and uh, you, it might be kind of funny to see, so let's take a look at that really quick and see what I have to say. There's apparently this new movie that came out yesterday called G.I. Joe um, Retaliation, and I camped out, and I was so excited to see it, and instead what I got was Channing Tatum dancing naked. And I'm sitting there going, this is not G.I. Joe, what is going on? So I got home and I read up and it turns out G.I. Joe has now been postponed until March, which is a big bummer because I was waiting all this last year for it. Um, in the meantime, in the great cluster of toy releases, the stores have already released the toys for the movie and that is just unheard of. What's funny about Roadblock here is I think this is the first time in the history of toys that the figure is actually less built than the actor. He looks skinny and tiny. I mean, The Rock is a huge guy. Those are the retaliation toys soon to be seen in the theater in about 10 years. I was upset last summer to have to wait till now. Um, like I had um, from last summer, here is a uh, roadblock figure by The Rock, um, and this figure actually wasn't that great. I mean, it's actually kind of styled in um, the original roadblock block look, uh, tank top, real, real gritty, ready to fight, um, tough. And uh, actually, I wasn't that great. This wasn't the most best likeliness of The Rock. So just recently, some of the newer figures have started popping up finally, and this this Rock is way more. Um, way more accurate in how he looks. It's the uh, Battle Kata roadblock from uh, his years with Snake Eyes. In the movie there was a ton of red ninjas which is pretty classic. Here's a um, classic reproduction of a red ninja and uh, the new red ninja. A lot of zipline stuff and 
Now, I haven't got to it. I wanted to do some zipline stuff down the stairs, but <laughs> that takes a lot of setup, so I'm just going to show some of these figures and, and talk about them. But some great Red Ninja scenes in the movie. Uh, a highlight for me was when uh, they were zipping down the mountains and one of the Red Ninjas hits the mountain peak and gets stuck. And then, you know, you're like, oh, he's okay. And then the next Red Ninja comes by or something and knocks him off and he goes flipping down the mountain. So that was. That was pretty funny and really entertaining. Um, Cobra Commander is back in this movie, and uh, he is this. This figure isn't really how he looks in the movie. He's a lot. He's black. He's just kind of got this leather um, jacket. You know, I think they're still really working on how to make Cobra Commander look cool on screen. His helmet looked great, but his costume still is missing something. Maybe just the Cobra symbol, something like that. I like the blue Cobra Commander figure that's been out. There's a black figure as well. And this one's a pretty good one overall. He comes with a really cool Cobra shooting staff and, and just, just classic Cobra Commander stuff. So uh, a pretty good figure to play with. Um, there's a Snake Eyes figure. And, uh, you know, this is from last summer too. I think it was one of the first issue Snake Eyes. And I believe there's a couple more that look a little better. Um, but again, in this movie, they got rid of the lips. He's just got his mask. He looked great. Uh, he's, he had his, uh, what do you call those, Uzi weapon-like things. Um, that was great. I just, they really caught Snake Eyes on, on this movie, and, and that was cool. So I'm glad I got a Snake Eyes figure that's a little more accurate. Um, Duke. Duke, Duke, Duke. Um, Channing Tatum. This figure was one of the first, again, from last summer, and he just doesn't really look like him at all. Um, I mean, I bought him because I collect a lot of Duke figures here, so I thought, you know, I gotta just keep that going. Um, but in the movie, you'll find some things with Duke that were like, eh. Um, all of us were thinking was, oh, okay, Channing was only in there for 20 minutes, and he's Duke. I mean, Duke is an important figure in G.I. Joe. It's like having a movie made about Barbie and then having a sequel, and then Barbie disappears after 30 minutes and gets replaced by like a brunette Barbie or something. It just, it would be like, okay. And uh, finally we have uh, Flint, and who was one of my original favorite characters from the old cartoon. And Flint was pretty interesting in this movie. He was, it was very quiet, like, he did some funny silly things in the beginning, and then for the most of the movie he was just kind of there as like a, you know, the soldier. But, he had a great likeliness to uh, Classic Flint, I thought. I mean, really looked looked similar to, you know, Classic Flint. Just just the face. I mean, if they found an actor that just looks like Flint to me. Maybe just a little young, if anything, but... And let's just open Flint really quick, because I haven't opened any of these just to see how they feel compared to other series of toys. Um, he comes with a lot of stuff. Another... Wow, this... This has got a lot of rope to it, so there's lots of zip lining going to happen, so that's going to be fun. And uh, the figure itself is pretty neat. He's got, doesn't look exactly how he did in the movie, but looks okay. Got, ooh, he's got a knife that goes into his backpack, or his uh, belt there, and uh, he's got several smaller weapons, and then the most important flint uh, beret going on. And it kind of kind of fits lightly, and that's that's really cool because that's you know here's old Flint again with new Flint, and uh, so man they really look similar. Of course these are toys, so um, so that is Flint, and the toy the toy quality on this one's pretty good. So yay on Flint. Those are some of the retaliation toys that are out. I hope to get a few more. I definitely I don't even have a um, Bruce Willis yet. I've got to pick him up um, or a Joe Colton figure and so I'm looking for that guy. So that's pretty much what I wanted to say with my rambling uh, review of the movie. Hope I didn't spoil too much for you. Um, and uh, try to bring back a few more uh, vlogs now. Uh, that is my story. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Um, I think I've got...